All right. Um, you also, the lead story in The Observer was actually not WrestleMania. It was on the Ashley Massaro situation. Well, just uh, everything, it, everything with Vince, yeah. Is anything new that you wanted to bring up that you didn't talk to Brian about on the well, Ashley situation? I, <clears throat> obviously, because I was very involved with so many people when the story first broke. Um, and certain things you know have come out you know like there were definitely a lot of people who were telling me stuff that wasn't true in wwe at that time so you know when you know that you've been deceived it's kind of like hard to trust anything that they've said um but i mean i think the one i mean i know what paul london said paul london's also you know ashley Massaro's ex ex-boyfriend but when I saw the Rio stuff, which for whatever reason, you know, I guess it was on a podcast. I never heard about Dr. That, Rios. That's was, the doctor. Yeah. Dr. Rios, the doctor said that she told him, she told him this. And that's when it's like, okay. Um, but also told him not to tell anyone. Um, and he did anyway. And I guess he told Laurenitis and what Laurenitis said, I already knew, which is like, okay. Then they did know when they're claiming that they didn't know, you know what I mean? It's like, um, it's, it's like, how did, her, how did Laura Nidus know unless she told him or somebody said it and Rio said, you know, there's the story that others knew as well. So I think her story has a lot of credibility, even with the deal of her writing that letter where she apologized to them, you know, um, which nobody's brought up in the story, but you, you know, and to me, it's like, if you're going to cover the story. You got to bring up that part of it too. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. you can't just be the Constantine Kairos. Absolutely. Both sides. Sure. You know, I mean, I wrote both sides. I said like, look, she did write that letter and, and um, you know, and why she wrote it. Maybe, you know, maybe again, you know, there's so many things of people who get wrong there who, who still want to come back because it's a way to make money and be famous. Um, but I I completely believe the gist of her story, um, and you know um, it's just and and it's like that's a pretty freaking horrible story. It really is. It's it's one of the worst. So um, and and again, look, we we all know the mentality that that wrestling has always had when it comes to women. I mean, it's just like it's always been there. It was worse before um maybe but maybe not maybe not um i mean with the talent it was just part of look it was a part of the talent that's what you know you know i mean uh there there's certain terms i don't want to say them here because they're kind of gross but one of the things that promoters in certain territories that didn't pay well um one of the things that it was kind of like okay it's like you know you're 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 not gonna make a ton of money here but you're gonna have the pick of the litter of women so you know it's like you're gonna be the stud you're gonna be a tv star in this you know in the, the this is more the southern wrestling than the northern wrestling mm -hmm. but you're gonna you're gonna have that and it's like for you know young guys in their 20s whether married or not going to a different city but but it's the same city you know, every week or every couple of weeks and you know, people in every town and it's kind of like, well, you know, even if the money's not good, it's kind of a cool life that you, you think at that time. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, that's what it was. And, you know, that mentality, you know, again, coming, coming to now, um, it, it creates certain things. Then when you're, you're, you're someone who's super rich and super powerful, um, you know, you can say it, you know, whether it's Weinstein or Vince or whatever, um, and, you know, it creates just, I can do no wrong and I can cover up anything and I can just do whatever the hell I want. You know, one of the, one of the things I, do you, do you remember the show that Brian and I did with Pete gas when we talked about growing up with Shane and everything? Oh gosh, that had to be a long time ago. A long time ago when the book came out. Well, anyway, there was this thing and he, I think he had his book where one night Shane just goes out and they're just cruising and they're just, running red lights and they're just doing all this crazy ass stuff as, as teenagers, right. In high school that, you know, was pretty destructive. 
And it's just like, and, and Pete Gass is kind of sort of aghast at this because, um, you know, it's like, we're, we're going to get in trouble. It's like, don't worry, don't worry. And it's like, Shane had no fear of the police. He had no fear of anything because, you know, it's like, I'm the son of Vince McMahon. Mm-hmm. And, you know, whatever I do, you know, I crash into somebody's car. <laughs> who cares? We'll pay for their car. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, it was just like, um, and, and, you know, that's a small part of that, but it's like, but it's like, that's, that's a certain mentality that you kind of grow up with when you have so much money that you figure that there's no consequences. And, and I think the whole pattern of Vince shows this, you know, it's just like, I can do whatever I want with women. Cause if they really get mad, just pay them a couple million dollars. They're going to, you know, you know, who's going to turn down a couple million dollars. None of these, you know, and, and that's kind of been, you know, I mean, I think that that's a lot of it. And, and, you know, so there was a paragraph and I don't even know who wrote or who said this, that, that you used, but he talked about the sexual exploitation uh, being part of control and saying the wrestlers function in an in-group subculture where they're governed by a code of silence called kayfabe. And this basically prevents people from that speaking was, out because they that, was, that was, that was, that was, that uh, was Kairos. I've never heard the kayfabe aspect sort of used as a way to like, as that, as the poisonous side of, of things. Um, I have, you know, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. You whenever you whenever people have thrown that word around, it was like more in a like you know, see no evil, hear no evil, tell no tell no stories. Yeah, always because pre- they're trying to protect the business o- side. Always, I- always protect the business. Right, yeah. right, and and that's so drummed into everyone. So when something bad happens, you know, it's like even when you know it, it's like number rule number one: always protect the business. You know, and if it happens to you, it's like. Rule number one, always protect, don't hurt the business. I mean, I might get, need all kinds of therapy, but I can't hurt the business. And that's mm-hmm. one of the things that they use. That That's absolutely accurate. That is one of the things they use to. Uh, it's crazy trauma to, too, for the people who have had to deal with that. It's, it's, you know, when you really think about like Ashley Massaro, it's like, it's, I never, you know, it's like, it's like, it's really um, horrible what she had to go through. You know, it's just like, um, it really is. It's just horrible. You know, I'm not, you know, so have you have you read up on uh, the Paul London comparison of Keith Ranieri, the Nexium cult leader? I know he said that, but I don't I'm actually, you know, yeah, I know he said that, that. that is uh, that is a like nasty comparison. And I, I don't know if it's an apples to apples one or not, but like the things that Ranieri did in his Nexium uh, cult were i guess they are sort of comparable based on some of the stories that we're hearing and uh because that guy like there, there's been documentaries and podcasts and 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 finally you know they they got him so i just it's just crazy to hear that comparison because i hear ranieri sort of in pop culture and then when someone brings in vince mcmahon which is in this other side of my uh you know kind of my expertise when it comes to these things i'm like oh wow like yeah maybe vince and this guy are are comparable in that way which just kind of blew my mind when i saw that quote from london yeah it's a lot of quotes that are really uh interesting and um a lot of stuff it's 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 very this has been very difficult you know especially this last this last week was really hard because you had all the vince stuff and then you know, the, you know, the, the Demore and the Rossi stuff, which is very complicated stories in and of themselves. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and, you know, um, but they, you know, in both cases, they're very complicated stories. Yeah. I do want to touch on those, uh, in a second, but before we do, I was actually interested because I know you're getting, uh, media requests yourself. Do you sense that this story is going to have legs and legs and legs? Do you sense that it's even died down a little bit? Like what, what's your, well, well, I mean, I, I, I think that it's the peak has already happened, but it can always, it's kind of like, it can always come back if there, if, and when there's a revelation right now, I think that we're kind of at a thing where, you know, a little, there's, you know, again, there was still some, some stuff that came out today. Um, but I think that, you know, it, it, when, when, 
you know, with Vince dis- with Vince disappearing, which I'm sure he will from this point on, I think that it will die down. But if something happens, whether it's whatever it is, somebody else comes forward, it will pick right back up. You mm-hmm. know, where what people will be more and more emboldened. The longer he's gone, and the more people are confident that he's never coming back, the more people will be emboldened. But a lot of them will still have that mentality always protect the business and Vince to them is the business, even if he's gone. So, so, but others will not necessarily have that feeling or loyalty or whatever, kind of like Brett, you know, today, you know, the, the Brett thing was very interesting because, you know, let's face it, you know, Brett, Brett comes from that, that thing, you know, of always protect the business. Um, and you know, his relationship with Vince is, is, uh, you know, I mean, it is a really complicated relationship, but, you know, he was also, um, I mean, he, he seemed like he was sickened and, and, you know, he should be, I was too, you know? So it's like, you read this, it's like, it's like Vince fooling around It's like Vince, whatever, you know, um, even, even the idea of, you know, some of the stuff that he did, it's like, you're not surprised, but I was surprised by, I was so surprised by the, the depth of the depravity. I mean, that's way too much to overlook, you know, and, and, um, and Brett was interesting too, because it was the same thing that, that I said, you know, it's like when you read those text messages, like if you ever got messages from Vince, I mean, you know, that's authentic and that's the thing. It's just like in Brett, Brett has gotten those messages, you know? So it's like, yeah, this is Vince. This is how he, how he writes. And that's where you kind of go like, oh my God, like, like. I mean, like, I knew the text had to be real because, I mean, if they weren't, I mean, obviously they'd been denied from day one. So, and the texts alone, forget about like the rest of the story, like I said a million times, the texts alone are enough, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, not enough to convict him or send him to prison or anything like that, um, or to charge him with anything or maybe, maybe it is, I don't know, but, but I don't think so. Um, but as far as like, he's got to go, he can't be back in this business there. Yeah. More than enough evidence right there. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.